riddles that's gonna break your brain. Let's go. While changing a tire, mm -hmm. a motorist accidentally dropped all four wheel nuts into the sewer grate. Okay. He tried everything to retrieve them, but to no avail. Okay. The man was mm -hmm. beginning to suspect that he would have to spend many hours by the roadside when a passing kid suddenly helped him solve the problem. Acting on the kid's advice, he successfully fitted a new tire and drove to the nearest service station without accidents. How did he do it? What was the advice that the child had given the motorist? I'll give you 15 seconds to think. Ah! He took a couple off of the other tires and or wheels and put it on this one. So he had enough to keep it on, maybe. Ready for the answer? Tell me. The kid told the man to remove one nut from each of the oh! other three wheels. I'm a genius. And use them to secure the new tire. I'm a genius. And so is that kid. <laughs> I told you. I don't know how safe Real that is, number but... Two, <laughs> a witch is present. Once upon a time, Prince Charming was searching far and wide for his betrothed. Summer had already ended when he came upon a shack inhabited by an old witch. The weary traveler asked if she could grant him refuge for the night. The witch obliged and showed her guest a warm welcome, offering him food, drink, and a place to sleep. The next morning, as Prince Charming was preparing to continue on his journey, she gave him a present, saying, A time will come when you find your way barred by a wide river with no bridge. The only way to cross it is to swim to the other bank. This enchanted tunic will help you. It won't let you drown. Our hero continued on his journey. A hundred days and nights had passed before 100. he came across the river the witch had warned him about. Okay. But in the end, he didn't need to put on the tunic to cross it. Can you guess why? 15 seconds are all yours again. Because he was on the horse? And the horse is tall enough to get old past it? That's what I was thinking originally. I was like, why does, she, why does he need this thing if he's on the horse? The horse can just go right through it. Prince Charming visited the witch's shack in September. Okay. After gonna, that, uh, it took the, him a hundred days to... It melted. To the, it took too long. The snow melted. Uh, ...reached the river. Which means that by the time he got there, it was already midwinter. The river was iced over. He simply walked across it to the other bank. I think my answer is kind of kind of uh, valid too, but that's actually what I was thinking. I was going to say that, but I was like, he's not a horse. Like, he could just gallop right through it, but yeah, whatever. Riddle number three, the rabbit hutch mystery. A farmer keeps rabbits in three large hutches that stand in a row in his backyard. Each of the hutches is painted a different color, red, yellow, and green. Until recently, the number of rabbits in the green hutch was twice as large as the number of rabbits in the yellow hutch. Then, one day, the farmer took five rabbits out of the left side hutch and gave them away to the local school's pet corner. He also took half of the rabbits that remained in the left side hutch and moved them to the red-colored hutch. Can you guess what color the left side hutch is? Oh, what? What did, they, what, what did he just say? Okay, guys, I'm going to listen to that one more time. And I'll get back to you guys with my thoughts. Okay, guys, this is easy. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm, I say it's easy, and I'm going to get it wrong. But look, the number of rabbits in... Rabbits in, that's right. Not rabbits in, but rabbits in. The green hutch was twice as large as the number of the rabbits in the something. Okay, and here they are. Here they all are in the green, the green one. So he said he takes them out, sends them off to the school, and then he takes half of them. Half of five is... Oh, wait, half... I mean, he took out three and left two, okay? But, but I put them in the red one, okay? And so it's like, can you guess what color the left one is. Wait, I didn't explain that very well at all. Somehow I got green. Is that the answer? I don't know. Wait, why did I get green? Oh yeah, because he said, then one day the farmer took five rabbits out of the left side, hutch, and the green one was the one that he said had twice the amount. So here they are up top, twice the amount, they're going off to the school, and then... He also took half of the rabbits that remained in the left side hutch and moved them to the red colored hutch. Okay, so then that was, he just said, it's the left side hutch. But we know that's the green one because the green one had two times the amount as the other ones. And it had a school, half there. So it's green. I swear, did, did that show yellow? Is he? It's green. It is yellow. No, it's not! As we already know, at the outset, the number of rabbits in the green hutch was twice as large as the number yeah. of rabbits in the yellow hutch. Yeah. This means that the number of rabbits in the green hutch was an even number. After the farmer removed five rabbits from the left side hutch, the number of rabbits that remained there also became an even number. This is proven by the fact that it was divisible by two. Therefore, before those five were removed, the left side hutch contained an uneven number of rabbits. Hence, the left side hutch can't be the green colored one. But based on the information we've got, it can't be the red colored one either. Yeah, 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 I don't, I don't like that one. 
Next one. <laughs> Riddle number four. Identify the culprit. Okay, let's do this. Late one night, a car ran over a pedestrian in a narrow by street and drove away without stopping. A policeman who saw the vehicle leave the scene of the accident reported it moving at very high speed. The accident itself was witnessed by six bystanders. They provided the following conflicting accounts of what had happened. It was a blue car driven by a man. The car was moving at high speed. Its headlights were turned off. The car did have license plates. It wasn't going very fast. It was a Toyota. Its headlights were turned off. The car didn't have license plates. The driver was a woman. It was a gray Ford. When the car and its driver were finally apprehended, it turned out that only one of the six eyewitnesses gave a fully correct description. Each of the other five provided one true and one false piece of information. Keeping that in mind, can you determine the following? What was the car's brand? What color was the car? Was the car going fast or slow? Did it have license plates? Was its headlights turned on? Was the driver a man or a woman? Why so many questions? The riddle is very tricky, so I guess you'll need at least 25 seconds to solve it. Bro, no one's gonna solve that in 25 seconds. Everybody has to go and watch that again. There's no way. Unless you have a video graphic 4K ultra like memory brain. Okay, it was a, it was a woman because only one of them said it was a woman. And if it's one lie, one truth, that means oh wait, but she could be lying, so it could be a man. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back. Hold on, hold on. This one's gonna take a while. Okay. Was a blue car driven by a man? Oh, but that person said a man. I'm pulling out the notes. Blue car man. Okay. The car was moving at high speed. Its headlights were turned off. Fast? No. Headlights. The car did have license plates. It wasn't going very fast. Has plates not fast. It was a Toyota. Its headlights were turned off. Toyota, no headlight. Headlights. The car didn't have license plates. No plates, lady driving. The driver was a woman. It was a gray Ford. When the car and a gray Ford. Its driver were finally apprehended. Okay, so one truth, one lie. Here we go. One truth, one lie. Okay. Oh my goodness. How am I going to figure this out? Okay. Is it a blue car or a man? Oh my gosh. This is going to take gray or a Ford. Which one is it? Is the lie a gray or is the lie a Ford? Okay, wait. <laughs> Okay, blue car and it's a man. Which which one's right? Is, was it a blue car or was it a man? I'm gonna say this is hurting my brain. Okay, oh. Okay, has plates, not fast. No plates, late. This is impossible, man. This is actually impossible. Okay, that's it. It's a blue car. I'm gonna say it's a blue car, and I'm gonna say um this one's the lie because they said it was a man, so that, that was a lie. So that means it's a lady. So she's telling the truth here. So that means this one's the lie. Okay, that's two. Two done. Let me add some space in between these two so I understand. Okay, and so if it's blue, it's not gonna be gray, which means the gray is the lie. So it's a Ford. Okay, might be making progress. Okay, now has plates. If I said that it didn't have plates, was the lie. So that means it has to have plates. So it wasn't going fast. Well, we're making progress. And if it wasn't going fast, that wait, not fast. Wait, no. Okay, it has plates. So not fast is the lie, which means it. Is is fast so then headlights is the lie fast is the truth and then wait what, what was it no headlights but it's a ford uh oh so that means it no headlights oh boy here it is okay it's a blue car it was driving fast it had plates but no headlights a lady was driving and it was a ford let's see let's see if that's right it turned out that only one of the six eyewitnesses gave a fully correct description oh shoot i forgot i forgot one of them gave i give up i, I forgot one of them gave the description i don't know i don't know i don't know did one true and know. one false piece let's of see. information are you ready I'm ready. The solution to the riddle lies in the information provided by the policeman. The car was going very fast. Okay. Accept this statement as trustworthy. Then the statement provided by one of the eyewitnesses, the car was going slowly, is false by default. Right. After we've established that, eliminating all the other falsehoods won't present a problem. It was a blue Ford. It oh. did have license plates. Oh. It was driving at high speed with its headlights turned off. Oh. The driver was a woman. Oh my god! Riddle number five. The prisoner hat riddle. Last riddle. The four criminals are lined up on some snow. Oh, great. They are all facing in the same direction. A wall separates the fourth man from the other three. So, to summarize, man one can see men two and three. Man two can see man three. Man 3 can see none of the others. Man 4 can see none of the others. Okay. Criminals are wearing hats. 
Uh -huh. told that there are two white hats and two black hats. Uh -huh. The men initially don't know what color hat they are wearing. Uh -huh. They are told to shout out the color of the hat that they are wearing as soon as they know for certain what color it is. They are not allowed to turn around or move. They are not allowed to talk to each other. They are not allowed to take their hats off. Okay. Who is the first person to shout out and why? Number one! Because number one can see two and three. I think that's what they, he said. And so if he could see that two is white and three is black. Oh, wait. Because he said that there's two blacks and two whites, right? So if... Ooh, but that means he could be white, too. He could have a white hat if he sees one white, one black. Because that means there's still one black and one white available. But we're going to say... I don't remember if he said anything about the pattern, like black, white, black, white. But we're going to say he's using his brain and he's like, hmm, if this one is a white hat, this one's a black hat, then the next person must be a white hat. So that means I'm a black hat. And so he's going to yell it out first. Let's see. Man, too. Two will shout out after some time. Here's why. Tell me. Man three and four cannot see the other hats. Okay. Man one sees a white hat and a black hat. Yeah. He knows that his hat can be black or white. That's what I said. Who sees one black hat. But if he is also wearing a black hat, it would be obvious to man one that he is wearing a white hat. Oh, that's where they got me. Shout out. Man two concluded that he himself is wearing a white hat. That's where he got me. Well, have you managed to solve the last riddle? There's a bonus. Here is our little bonus. Can you name the one thing that all the people on Earth do simultaneously? Breathe. Give you five seconds. Breathe. Live. The answer is obvious. Getting older. I think mine was right too. But anyway, that's gonna be for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap the like button. Let me know in the comments below how many you guys got out of five, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.